Kang Wan Lee from IBM Research will present next. Thank you, everyone. So um, I have a little bit of uh, different flavor of the uh, topic uh, today for the network. Uh, so what can network do uh, when we have this uh, disaster type of situation? So um, what I'm going to talk about is a, a mobile data service called T-Scope that we have uh, been working on at IBM TJ Watson Research Lab. Uh, T-Scope stands for telescope. So basically what we are trying to build is a capability that you can look far from where you are. Uh, basically, I mean, leveraging all the mobile phones that are on the ground. Uh, this is the work uh, by me and my colleague Starsky Wong, uh, who is also present here in the room. So um, this is from my personal experience and uh, uh, I was not, I mean, in the hardest hit area. I was, the, the storm for me was fairly mild. Uh, and I think uh, many people have experienced the, the same, unless they were in the disaster area. When the, the power went away, I mean, Alex has talked about the power outage. The many of the communication means that we uh, take for granted uh, for everyday use like uh, wireless at home or TVs or uh, radio, those things were pretty much gone. So before uh, power outage happened, even though there were a lot of wind, I mean, we were not really feeling the impact of the storm. Then after the power was gone, then we had uh, no means to reach out. Now, but I mean, thankfully what were working, uh, at least in the area that I was living, the cell phones, so all the voice calls and the cellular data were working, so actually I could log on to my Facebook page, for example, and I could see that people were sort of um, uh, posting that, oh, the power finally went out in my region, so I can see that, okay, how the power outage was uh, spreading out in the region, for example. And, uh, I mean, radio was working uh, on the car stereo, so if I turn on the car, I could get the news. And uh, one interesting thing on the newspaper, online newspaper, was that when a storm hit, what people needed was coffee and hotspot internet. So people were uh, gathering at this uh, Starbucks place or some other cafe where they have internet, the Paneras. I mean, they were just uh, booming with the people. It was like a shelter uh, of some sort. So now, um, I mean, they were all fine. I mean, uh, we could manage. I mean, we could have some sort of, I mean, update. But the thing was that none of these updates or news were enough to get the information uh, as a, a citizen or individual to, uh, to acquire. Or if I were to flip around, I mean, if uh, someone from the government or FEMA want to find out what's the situation in certain areas, well, there were a lot of reports from TV casters that, oh, this, is, this area is really bad, it's all flooded, and things like that. But for me, if I want to, say, check, uh, can I go to work next day, uh, I want to know if a certain portion of the parkway is flooded or not, because it's always flooded. And if that region is flooded, then it's not worth for me to try to drive to work, for example. So, so that was the start of all this uh, discussion that, uh, I mean, how can we get situational awareness? And uh, what situational awareness uh, means is, uh, I mean, there are multiple uh, uh, definition about situational awareness, but the thing I liked about uh, uh, from among the, the definitions was that knowing what is going on so you can figure out what to do, right? So. For me, as I said, I mean, news is too generic, so it doesn't cover certain interested area that I want to uh, find out. Uh, I can make voice calls to my families and close friends if they are doing okay. So that was fine, but that doesn't uh, satisfy all the essay need that I have. And uh, one of the th uh, one of the thing that was very frustrating was that I wanted to find out when the power will come back, 
And uh, when you have, uh, when we uh, uh, access the uh, Rockland and Orange, which is the power company in our region, they had this, uh, oh, uh, two weeks or more. That, that was the status or the projected uh, power comeback date. And uh, what was funny is that even after we got the power, the website was still saying that two weeks or more. So they were not up to date. I mean, uh, simply was not, uh, they, they could not keep up with uh, all these uh, needs that people had. So, so the simple question is this. I mean, how can we know uh, what is the current situation in certain area? I'm interested in certain area, certain city blocks, or some uh, workplace, or it may be my relative's home. Um, I want to know what is going on there, what is the current situation is, and if someone can tell me, that would be really helpful. But right now, there is no capability like that. So consider a scenario where government agency is trying to assess the, say, flooding uh, situation in certain area, and they want to collect data or evidence from people uh, who can uh, report. I mean, they can send a text message simply saying, oh, here, things are fine, or uh, they can say, oh, hey, we have enough of these uh, dry food, but we are short of uh, uh, socks and the, the, the clothes. Uh, those simple interactions can really help, I mean, to prepare and uh, organize the logistics and things like that. And uh, uh, if there is a need, I mean, then people can just uh, simply take a picture and upload. Uh, so these things are all doable, but what is uh, not possible right now is that we don't know who are in that affected area. So ideally what we want to do is to be able to send a query to people who have mobile phones uh, uh, and uh, who can help uh, assess the situation without really knowing who they are and uh, what is the contact information to them, okay? So what T-Scope is trying to do is, um, it's a real-time mobile data collection service that allows you to send the location-specific queries to get situational awareness data. And I already told it, without uh, requiring knowledge of the contact information of the recipients and their whereabouts. <coughs> Now, it has to be opt-in based. I mean, you don't want to flood everyone in the area because then people will be really upset and they will just uh, 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 be not happy. So, and essentially what we want in the end, what we want to create is like a real-time Google Street View kind of thing. So uh, basically you want to know what's going on. You want to know what the street looks like. Now you go to Street View and uh, for house hunting, that's a very useful tool. Now you want to have the same kind of capability that can give you real-time update. So uh, just a little bit more detail. Uh, what we <coughs> want to allow is just a simple uh, text-based query to mobile devices. And we want to be able to specify a certain region or uh, near a point of interest or you can even, uh, based on the trajectory, okay, and uh, or it can be along some certain roadblocks. And uh, this data cast can be controlled by some policy so that it doesn't go to everyone all the time. So if you are only trying to uh, reach the first responders, then you should be able to do that. If you are a fire department that you, and you want to only reach the fire uh, fighters in that area, then you, you should be able to do that and things like that. And it should be easily uh, managed so that uh, you can change who the recipi recipi uh, recipients are. And then recipients can uh, provide information. Now, another thing that we want to bring to this uh, service is uh, something called semantic enrichment. Basically, we don't want to burden the, the workers or uh, agencies who is trying to find out what's going on to try to figure out what is the exact geolocation of that place, okay? We want to be able to say, like um, Union Station or Grand Central or Brooklyn Law School area. Then it should, the, the service will just uh, translate that into location-specific queries. And uh, one, another thing that we do is that it is also based on the user's location. So 
There may be hundreds of union stations in the United States, but if I'm, say, if I'm in Washington, D.C., and I'm saying uh, union station, then the system should know that what union station that we are talking about. And it should be personalized also that uh, for general public use that uh, because phones are very personal device, it knows who I am, what my work is, what my home is. So if I say that, oh, I want to know the situation of my work, nearby workplace, then you should be able to send a query to that. Then it has regular services like, I mean, you can store the uh, feedbacks and uh, you can search them. And also it has a temporal aspect so that you, get, you can go back in time, meaning that you want to search the, only the users who were there at certain specific times so that the queries can go to them instead of just the users who are there right now. We have built a system. This is a, a little bit of diagram. Uh, we have a, a working demo that we can show uh, if you are interested in, and I'll be happy to take questions during the panel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very interesting.